Greetings, uh, so there is a water tower on the recent middle of the road map, and you can precisely fit one tower only on there. And so I figured that would be a good time for a one tower survival challenge. How long can I survive using only the water tower on easy mode? So we can fit some pretty big towers on here. As you saw, the mortar can fit. The only towers I can't fit are the ace pad and the helipad. Everything else is fair game. I guess to start off, I don't know, I do sniper in the shrapnel shot. I think I've played enough uh, one tower challenges at this point to know that the name of the game is to uh, rush farming if possible. And so uh, really our only options are uh, supply up sniper and or maybe balloon trap. But you know, balloon trap can't hit camo and it's pretty far back in the track. Me and I got full map range. For those who don't know, yes, this wide tower basically allows you to see uh, over the stores here. Which makes it a pretty good spot for snipers. Also, hopefully I can save up for a bouncy bullet straight up. I'm gonna do one 2 zero, by the way. Generally, if you're going for just one sniper, you probably want top path. Normally, it's like if you alpha buff it, then maybe 052 with alpha buff is better. But yeah, not allowed. Also, I did kind of lie earlier. You can technically place more than one tower on the water tower. Because there are some things called like Gibraltar sub towers, like the uh, shooty turret. Those are pretty small hitboxes, so you can definitely squeeze one and a sniper on it. But obviously what good is like a 2 damage, 2 pierce turret gonna do in the late game? Anyways, the map is easy enough that we can just get Bouncing Bullet right now. Epic. And I'm so greedy that I don't even think I'm going to buy the uh, uh, large caliber cross path until I at least get Supply Drop Up in Hell. Maybe I can get Elite Sniper straight up, like before even buying large caliber, but probably not. Round 40 uh, exists. And actually, not buying this upgrade plays in our favor because the longer it takes for us to kill rounds, the more money we make technically since we have a time-based ability over here. So that's playing into my uh, strategy all along. You know, gotta think two steps ahead of the game. You see me just taking my time being the here? That's what we're talking about. Nice and slow. Yeah, even 39 here pushing us to the very edge. We don't want to get rid of any road spikes, just in case. Want to do a little bit of damage to the mob first. Now, I will say that this mob has reduced HP. If you don't know, on easy mode, the mob has 133 HP instead of 200. So it's actually possible that four damage a time can work. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so greedy about this, but look how close it is, actually. Hang on. If I survive this, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. And just like that, we get at least sniper. Although, I'm pretty sure that if you use the ability right now, it resets to full. So, what I'll do is I'll try to squeeze out the extra crate and then get elite sniper. Like, just to show you that I'm not tripping here, I'm going to use the ability. And then when I bought, you see that it resets back to full. It's a good play to not do that. And again, still not buying large caliber. I'm gonna keep tricking you guys as long as I can. Ah uh, yes, my fear of pastime by annoying people and not buying cross pads for upgrades. Even though sometimes it's actually the strategical play to do so. Like I definitely see it so often in chimps runs where y'all are like, I got so triggered that, wet that I didn't cross pad this. But the fact of the matter is that if I did cross pad that thing then, I probably wouldn't have uh, survived that chimps run. Just a general example right there, I'm sure I could find a specific scenario. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm simply just gonna keep on stalling as long as I can. I think 53, though, might require a large cover because, yeah, this this third uh, mob has no damage. I think it's time to pull out. Okay, so I don't know what I want to get the moment this Elite Sniper stops working, which I would presume, I don't know, maybe around 80. I mean, that, the map is long enough and ZMG is slow enough that this can honestly take down a ZMG 7 damage at a time. But in the event that it doesn't, uh, we're gonna still be in a very good spot. Because, like, even I saw right now, I can afford a 70k tower. The more money I save, the better, because that just means I can skip straight to a really powerful upgrade. And also, it looks like, I'm not going to make it past 62, so... So much for around 80. Okay, let's try this again. I don't think this is going to work, but I remember there's a last knowledge that gives you 10% attack speed on the snipers. So what if that helps pop it faster, but probably not. Yeah, okay, well, I guess it's time to replace it this round, so... I want to say Dark Champion, but maybe there's better options. Actually, hang on, how about Ray of Doom? Can I afford that? Uh, C417 is 81. Actually, hang on, uh, there's purples. If I can't afford uh, the uh, Ray of Doom, I could go for a Plasma Accelerator after the purples are dead. So, first we wait till now, I guess. And uh, I can afford it, but let me just first get... Oh, wait, I can afford it straight up. Never mind. Well, that's easy. The thing is, do I want to get this right now, though, or do I just want to go back to farming? Because what if I just got Plasma Accelerator for 62, and then sold it back for Elite Sniper, in the event that it could beat 64, but, eh, I guess this is just a safer play. 
Well, this is a long map, and this is Ray of Doom, so expect this to just work for the next, I don't know, 40 plus rounds. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like that Ray of Doom chair perfectly fits the water tower. Realistically, though, I'm pretty sure the water tower made of wood would probably just break if a giant metal structure like a Ray of Doom was placed on there. Anyways, here's some hard rounds for you for once. I actually have to do a bit, little bit of micro here since it isn't technically a, a very straight line we're having. All good for now, though. If this fails, I mean... I'm pretty sure we can go for uh, the uh, goat options. Ledger of the Night. Supermines. All of which are affordable at the moment. Also, I'm not really dead to 106, am I? Oh, we might need the single target damage of the uh, beam hand, the first target. That's gonna be hard to do, though. Actually, what if I just do this? Leave the Cerams? Yeah. I think I moved it too early last time. Because I can still focus the... Uh, or catch the Cerams at the very end. Simply just by having the beam there. Uh, 112 here might be a little bit tough. I pretty much have to leave him in this spot. I would say it gets the most coverage. 1, 2, 3, 4, I count 5 from spots. I guess the goal is to switch early then, so how about now? That just means crawl for the next DTs, but we'll deal with that, I guess. Okay, how about this? Come on, focus. Micro. Ah, oh, so close. Alright, gotta stay sharp. Uh, how about now? Nope. Oh, it's getting worse. Alright, dozen tries later, and I don't think this is possible. We'll sell now. Okay, so how much money do I have? 238. Now, if you ask me, I'm pretty sure a Supermines defense more than a Legend Knight because of the placement. Because with the uh, Supermines, you can just leave it at any point of the track, and eventually the balloons will, you know, get a nice radius. Does that make any sense at all? Basically, what I'm saying is that the radius for this uh, Legend Knight is so awful that it just leaks a bunch of stuff. I know I didn't cross path it, I'm just gonna choose to die here. Or if not die, then reset. I don't know, I hope this isn't the wrong play or anything, but I'm just gonna go for it, okay? I mean, I guess the spot might also be pretty bad for the super mines because the explosion, I don't know. It only gets like the top corner of this map, but not really much you can do. I'm just worried that's too far forward in the track and then it may not have enough time to build spikes for, I don't know, DT rounds or bad rounds. Fortifieds are fine there. But how about 119? Oh, I think we should be fine, honestly. Actually, um, down to like five spikes. Down to like two. Okay, now we're good. Okay, we might have made enough money that we can buy Legend of Night if Super Mines ends up failing. Come to think of it, this challenge is basically like a culmination of the best one towers all at once. Because, you know, Dark Lightning Super and Spike Factory were the three highest towers that got to the highest rounds in the one tower challenge. So, only fitting that we end up using the. Best towers of all them. 126 here is close. 128 probably kills us, because they come instantly. It's not good when it comes instantly. Yeah, I got I, there's no there's nothing I can do. It just there's just not enough spikes built down. And they don't simply do enough damage, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if Legend Knight does any better though. Down to 22k left, and uh, Yeah, I'm gonna get the portal off and I'm gonna die, so. Do I take this? Well, no, I'm just gonna die the Srams there. I was thinking maybe if we just slow down the DTs enough. So what about like an Impale? I don't know. Just for the DDTs. But yeah, they're popping. If they didn't pop though, then I bet we could accumulate it. But there's also Srams coming in, so never mind. Okay, this might be expensive, but what about Absolute Zero? So let me get three shots off. And then freeze it. However many times it takes for DTs to not pass. Too many of them, though. And I might be better off going for a cheaper tower or a more expensive tower that I don't need to sell as much. So that's four times, okay? Uh, let's get back to your mines now. Down 100, that's fine, that's fine. As long as I can... Ah, don't get the ceramics, okay? But that sounds easy in theory, right? Let me just see how much. Yeah, in essence, I'm spending like $80,000 on four absolute zeros right there. I don't know if I can do any better than that. You know, I bet it just works if I do this faster, so... Yeah, let's make sure DDs don't get far at all, okay? Like, right over here is perfect. Please don't leak ceramics, please don't leak ceramics, please don't leak ceramics. Ah. Alright, this run looks great. Please. Come on, don't... Don't leak. It's gonna leak. I need an explosion. Ah. Okay, let's freeze it really, really early. I'm fed up at this point. So... We'll activate all the way over here. And we'll do two more, I think. 
until all DDs are out. And they're out now, so... Here we go. Come on. How come... Okay, we need something to explode so we catch these two Serams here. There we go. And I think that's what it's gonna take. Just kinda have to go to the Super Mines, and, uh... It's barely hanging on for 129 there, too. No way it beats these fortified Zomgus, right? Close, close. I wonder if just RNG can fix it. All I'm asking for is some, for some good RNG. There we go. Okay, I don't think there's any RNG that can save this round. It takes two Super Mines to kill a fortified DT. And the Serams still run over us at that point. Oh, okay, maybe I can still use Impale. I don't know. If we can clip it early enough and let them all stack. I don't know, that's still too far forward, I feel like. Uh, I'll do it now. Nah, okay, Impale lasts like two seconds. That's definitely not gonna work. Okay, I really don't know if we can do the absolute zero thing again because they're so spaced. This is even worse than 128 in that aspect, you know? How many do I, do I need to use here? Far too many, right? Far too many rights indeed. That was like, uh, I think six up to zeros. I can still afford your mind scan, but do I want this? Well, it's not even gonna work because the same thing happens again. Okay, let me see if this cheaper option potentially works. Big trap? I don't know if it gets... It's okay, it's only one DT. Okay, that's really bad. So it's really just gonna be two towers then, right? Ice and, and uh, Spike Factory. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, so there are seven DTs this round. That's gonna cost a pretty penny. And it should definitely work this time, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hopefully you have enough spikes for the ZMGs, though. We do. Unfortunate to say, but Legend Knight cannot save us at this point. Also, Super Mines is getting Pierce Capped, which is crazy to see. Or rather, maybe not Pierce Cap, but it's hitting the max amount of spikes. That they're all dying, man. This yeah, this EMG clump is huge. Okay, never mind. RNG comes in clutch again. And I think 138 might be the end here. Like even more DTs and not enough money to constantly uh, get up to zero, because you see. Yeah, this round is even longer than 135 and 128. Like, let me just see after one more ice ability. Can I even get super points up? Yeah, that was my last one. And if it doesn't work here, then. Yikes. Actually, hold up, there might be promise to this. If I had enough money, I could do Impale, Anti Bloon, Impale, Anti Bloon. Well, I'm pretty sure if I did the math, I only do that twice, but let's see. How late can I keep this Impale up? Wow, I can stack a huge clump, clump. Holy crap. I'm just gonna see how much this can hold. At which point is Pierce Cap now? It gets Pierce Capped, okay. Ability now. Hmm, if there's a way to thread the needle. Okay, so whenever there's 30, uh, I would say this shot. Quickly. I'm slow. Come on. Yeah, I gotta be really fast with the micro here to be able to use the anti balloon and then quickly get an impale up again. Alright, next shot now. Use the ability. That was fast. Lightning with Queen fast. Now, let me just see if it can hold everything that comes out. Just trying my hardest. Making sure that's actually the last possible option. And yeah, not enough money at this point, so let me just do some absolute zero slowdown micro. So how about one? And uh, surely two is enough, right? Yeah, that's the end of the wave, okay. Okay, this is as far as it's gone, I can't mess up. I was thinking I could try a, a Wizard of Phoenix, if I get the cooldown up. That's my only shot, because that's the only thing that does a lot of damage. Uh, they're back to full speed, though. Well, not full speed, but you know. I'm so close to getting up. I just don't think... Even if I got out 5 seconds earlier though, I don't think it does enough damage. Okay, call me crazy, but let me just try this one last idea, so... I'm just gonna absolute zero like 5 times instead. Leave all DDs on screen, and then I will do the following. Shimmer? I'll use an Elim ability to pop one... I repeat, one DDT into Ceramics. Absolute zero. As it exits. And Bomb Blitz. Does Bomb Blitz one-shot all these DTs? I think it does, like, what, 2k damage? I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure they, these have more than 2k. But last try, and nope. I just leak out to the Serams before it even activates. Okay, hold up. What if we just need to Snowstorm a bit earlier so that the 13 second cooldown is up for Bomb Blitz? Because I'm pretty sure that's what was killing us. I'm just gonna count. 7 seconds, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13. Still doesn't activate. Well, weird. I tried. Probably a lot longer than I should have on this round, but yeah. Hope you enjoy the one tower with selling action. Always makes for a fun time. Uh, and that's it. Have a watery day.